the nice command. The nice command actually changes the likelihood that a process will receive a greater percentage of CPU cycles. For the purpose of brevity, let's simply say it assigns greater or lesser priority to a process. Nice values. The highest nice value is 19, which inversely gives the process the lowest nice priority. The lowest nice value is negative 20, which inversely gives the process the highest nice priority. As a mnemonic, let's think about it semantically. The nicer you are, the lower a priority you will place on your processes so as to make your CPU cycles available for your friends and coworkers. So the highest nice value, 19, the nicest thing to do is give your processes the lowest priority. On the other hand, the meaner you are, the higher the priority you will place on your processes, leaving less CPU cycles for your friends. That's not nice. So the lowest nice value, negative 20, the meanest thing to do is give your processes the highest priority. Don't be a system hog. Share. There are two primary methods of using nice. If you use nice and the process, it will simply start the process with 10 over the default nice value. However, if you use the dash n option, you can specify a specific nice value. We've looked at the process command, the kill command, and the foreground and background commands and jobs commands for controlling processes. But what about setting the priority? For this, we can use the nice and the re-nice commands. So let's briefly take a look at this. And the way nice works is, um, the higher the number in positive values, the lower the priority. And the lower the, the number in terms of negative values, the higher the priority. And so if you think about it, um, if you're going to be nicer to other people on the system, you'll run your processes with less CPU cycles. And you're being nice, so you're going to give them more CPU cycles. Hence, that's kind of why you know, the nicer you are, so to speak, the lower the priority you're giving a process. And on the other hand, if you're going to run something on the system that eats up a lot of CPU cycles and gets a lot of processing time and power, then you're not being nice. You're being less nice. And so it goes down into the negative values. Maybe that will help you remember sort of as a mnemonic device. But let's just launch a few processes. So one of the first things we'll do if I launch um, gedit, I'm going to do Alt F2. I'm just going to launch gedit. Right? So it'll bring up um, the genome text editor. And if I were to, I could do ps um, x dash l. And let me grep for gedit. All right. And so this is the default priority here. When I launch any process, it's usually 80. And I've not modified the niceness, either towards the positive or negative end of the spectrum, so it's just zero. It's a default value for gedit. And there's the PID, the process ID, and I can kill it. So kill, um, what is that, 4043. So I'll go ahead and kill it. And the same thing, if I were to launch the ps command, and let me specify the dash L for a, a long listing option. If I did that, notice that the default priority is 80, under which the process command is running. And I haven't niced it any. So I haven't modified any values there. All right, so now let's look at gedit. I'm going to do Alt F2. And this time I'm going to nice gedit. I want to modify the default priority of it. And I'm just going to do nice and um, dash N. And I'm going to use the maximum level of niceness 19, which will therefore give, you know, give the G, this text editor the least priority on the system and make CPU cycles available for others. And if I were to do that, let's list it, and I'll just hit the up arrow and cycle through my commands here. Back to a long listing here. Notice that up here it was 80. That was the default. Well, now it's 99. And being a higher number, it has less priority. Here it was not being nice, so it was just a default value. Now it's being nice as 19, so it has less priority than the standard priority. Okay? And I could do the same thing. Let me go ahead and kill that process. So I'm just going to kill the PID, which is 4059 now. And we'll kill gedit. And the same thing if I were going to, um, let me just nice. And we'll go towards the opposite end of the spectrum. We'll be mean, so to speak. And we'll use, uh, you know, give it a greater priority. Have it use more CPU cycles. So I'm going to do negative 20, the maximum level um, of niceness here. And I'm going to make this the PS command. And let's do the dash L option there. Oops. All right, I had to enter my password there. But. So if I did that, 
Now you can look and look at my priority and my niceness. So in this case, my priority is lower. Up here it was 80. And down here it's 60. And again, up here when I ran the PS command, excuse me, it was 0. That was the default level. Now it's negative 20. So being a lower amount, it's getting more CPU cycles. It's getting more attention from the processor, so to speak. So that's using the nice command in a positive or, or negative fashion. And then there's also the re-nice command. And um, and there's also other ways to use it. Like if I just used nice by default and I didn't use the dash n option, and I said nice and we do ps and a long listing. If I did that, it just adds 10 to it by default. So like here's the process command, and that makes it nice by adding 10 to it. So it gives it a little bit less priority. Um, and I could also re nice something if I had a process that was running in the background. Let me so let's do this. I'm gonna do alt. Um, F2 and I'm going to nice and I'm going to do dash n and again let's be nice this time so I'm going to at the the maximum level of niceness <laughs> uh, dash n19 I'm going to launch gedit alright so that launches gedit and let me clear this and let's go back and we're going to grep for gedit and to pull a long listing. So now notice the, at the maximum level of niceness, um, it's running at 99 here. That's the priority. And here's the niceness 19. The re-nice command. The re-nice command will change the nice value of a previously niced or currently running process. For example, type re-nice and then negative 10 and 1042 would give the process or the PID 1042 a new nice value of negative 10. Another thing we can do along with nice is re-nice. If I have a process that's already running, I can change the priority. So for instance, um, let me do this. I'm going to nice dash n um, with the maximum amount of niceness, gedit. So it's going to be running at a very low priority. And were I to grep it, ps, um, we do ps x and dash l and grep gedit there. Alright, so priority-wise, it's lower than your average priority. It's 99. Nice-wise, instead of 0, it's 19, maximum level of niceness. So this is a running process in the background. And while it's still running, if I wanted to modify its priority, let's say that I wanted to give it more CPU cycles, I could use the re-nice command. Um, and if I were going to do that, I could say re-nice. And let's say I wanted to move it to, you know, maybe from 19 down to 5. So I could say re-nice 5, and I need the PID, the process ID. So it's 4118, 4118. So if I did that, notice the old priority was 19, and the new priority is 5. And again, where I had to list it, here it is. All right, so it's almost, you know, your average priority, so to speak. And the nice values changed from 19 to 5, the priority from 99 to 85. Now, I need to use root privileges. So I have to use sudo if I'm going to go into the negative values. And again, you know, you don't want anybody without root privileges um, bogging down the system or tying down, you know, tying up the system by giving their processes and programs, um, you know, excessive priority over other things. So there's a reason why that the negative values are limited under nice. But if I wanted to do that, I could also sudo and then re-nice. And let's say I wanted to give it the maximum, or excuse me, the, the minimum amount of niceness and the maximum amount of priority. So were that the case, negative 20, and I, so I just need to PID the process ID, so 4118. And notice the old priority was 5, now the new priority is negative 20. And were I to list it, notice that its priority is actually far greater than the average process, as well as its niceness um, is, is being far less than the average amount of niceness. So just you know, examples of the nice command and the re-nice command to control process priority.